Hey folks, welcome back to another review with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're taking a look at this guy right here. The Feldherr Foam Insert for Blood Bowl, the core box. So uh, basically we're just gonna take and show you uh, how this works with the game and uh, how it fits in the box and all that other kind of stuff. I'll give you some pointers. I guess it's gonna be less of a review and more of an informational video, but I will give my opinion on whether I think the, the insert is worth it or not. Uh, from my perspective, at least. Your perspective could be completely different. But anyway, let's get down to the table and take a look, and we'll come back with some final thoughts in just a few moments. So what the Feldherr box insert is gonna do for you, it's going to take uh, the contents of the box the way they come without any type of storage solution at all. Uh, so you're gonna be able to take this to this. And so as we open all of this up and take the boards out, then of course, the sheet that comes and the protective layer that comes over top of it as well. You can see here that everything is held pretty well inside this compartment. Now you have, of course, the, the range finders and scatter dice and all that other kind of stuff. And they actually fit in here because of these little divots that are here. Um, these actually are held in place by those things. And the helmet here is held in place by the uh, thing here. You have a place for your cards, dice, and other bits. I don't have my cards here with us, but I uh, apologize for that. But uh, you have uh, all of the dice and then all of the miniatures in the core box, at least, are held uh, snugly. Now, some of these look like they're very loose, uh, but uh, generally speaking, they are incredibly um, not incredibly, but they are very well uh, packaged. I mean, uh, this one, you can just put it in there a little bit uh, cockeyed and, and, it, and it holds everything. All of the Oryx miniatures, they're not going anywhere because of all the spiky bits that are on that thing, they, they catch into that uh, felt and they actually hold a little bit better because of it. Uh, the uh, felt is very sturdy. Uh, it's not uh, flimsy or anything like that, yet it's still uh, pliable and durable as well. So uh, I like the fact that each individual model is held uh, individually uh, and so you're not going to have them rubbing up against each other, possibly chipping up the paint jobs that you're going to probably inevitably put on uh, these models. But uh, I think it's a, a good insert uh, for someone who has painted their, their base copy. If you don't think you're going to paint the base copy, of course, well then this storage insert is probably not for you because it's specifically made to protect miniatures and the paint jobs that are on there. That's why you have an, an individual uh, storage space for each model. So I, I do like the fact that it is that, but I will say that I was a little disappointed over one thing, and that is once you put everything back on top of here, and of course, uh, the cards will go in that center spot here that I don't have. Everything goes back on here. And uh, then you put the uh, uh, scoreboards in here like this. And now it's flush. Now it's flush with the top of the box. So you could put the box top on there and it would be absolutely perfect. The problem is, is that now you have the board to put in there. So the board, it goes on there and it sets maybe half an inch above the top of the of the box and this will set and as you can see there it has that gap at the bottom where uh, everything fits inside the box but the box doesn't close all the way now maybe this isn't a big deal for for some of you guys but uh, it's kind of a disappointment for me so that's that for the Feldherr box insert storage solution for the core box game of Blood Bowl from Games Workshop now uh, <laughs> Some pros and cons of the game uh, or of the insert are simply this. The pros are uh, it's going to do a great job at, at protecting all of your miniatures once you have those uh, paint jobs on there. And, and quite frankly, that's, you know, it's going to protect the miniatures whether it has paint on them or not. So that's good. It does its job in that respect. But unless you have paint on them, 
I don't know how much you're going to need to protect the miniatures. They're very good miniatures. They're, they're sturdy. They're not going to break very easily. So I don't know if it's necessary, but it does do a good job. The second pro is that the uh, felt insert is very durable and yet it is very, also very flexible and that type of thing. It's lightweight. It's not going to add a whole lot of weight to the game itself. Uh, almost a negligible weight difference, I would imagine. Uh, so that's good. Sometimes box inserts, uh, especially like the wood ones or the plastic ones, they'll add uh, a somewhat considerable amount of weight to it. Uh, and, and the game could possibly already be heavy. So that's one thing that I always look at on how heavy or light the insert is. And this one is incredibly light. Um, and so it's not going to add a lot of weight at all. So that's a huge pro for me as well. Now, one of the cons of the of the insert is simply that it's not going to hold anything else, else but the base game. Now, I hate to say that as a con because uh, it's made for the core game, so uh, it does its job, so to speak. But in this day and age when we have uh, expansion after expansion coming out for a lot of different games, Blood Bowl is no exception, uh, the fact that you can only hold uh, the humans and the orcs in, that come in the base box in this insert, eh, it's kind of a letdown because that means now I'm going to have to find another storage solution if I have other multiple armies and so forth. So um, it, it, it is a con, uh, but I think uh, depending on who you are, uh, the, the weight of that con will uh, vary greatly probably. Now the huge con for me here is the fact that it doesn't actually fit everything that comes in the base box back into the base box. I mean, technically it does. It's just that the uh, the lid doesn't rest completely upon the box. So everything is in there. But, oh, that just really bugs me. I want my box tops to be flush with the bottom of the, uh, of the box. And it's just not going to happen with this uh, insert. And so that's a huge letdown for me. Uh, so all in all, I think that uh, this is really just kind of a, a shot in the dark for me to say whether or not you're going to uh, benefit from getting this. I, I really think that you're going to have to make your own decision. Um, if it were me, however, knowing everything and how everything fits in the box, I probably probably wouldn't make the purchase. And the reason I say that is because it seems like a, a nitpick, but I, I don't like it when the box tops don't meet flush with the bottom of the box. And 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 to me, in my opinion, that means that everything didn't fit in the box. It it, it uh, is slightly off or slightly skewed. Uh, so I don't know, maybe the box, the, the insert could have been slightly thinner to allow for that extra room for the board. I think that probably could have happened. I don't know, we'll see, but uh, it's just one of those things that uh, bugs me and rubs me the wrong way. So it's a huge con for me. Maybe it's not that big of a deal for you. You'll just put a couple rubber bands around the box and you'll be good to go. Uh, so again, it comes down to a personal decision for you. But that's it for me for the Feldher box insert for Blood Bowl. Uh, you can make your own decision on whether or not you're going to go pick it up, but it's a good product. I just don't know if it's going to be a practical one for you. So that's it from me for the Blood Bowl insert from Feldher. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.